Hi, today we'll see use of params keyword in C sharp. Suppose we have a method add numbers to which we are passing two integers a and b and this method is returning back the sum of two numbers. Now when we call this method we are supposed to pass only two integer arguments because this method signature declares that it, it takes two integer arguments a and b. Now if we wish to add three integer numbers instead of two. So we created one more overloaded method add numbers that now takes three integers a, b and c and returns back the sum of all the three numbers. So when we need to uh, pass three numbers to add numbers, how we do that? We pass three arguments to the overloaded method and assign it to the sum. Now it is not advisable that as your number of arguments increment, uh, you are not supposed to write that many overloaded methods. For example, suppose now if we want to add 100 numbers, then we have to write another overloaded method and we need to create the 100 parameters to it. That is not efficient or good programming. So when we do not know that how many number of arguments we are supposed to pass to the function, we need to keep this area uh, flexible. I mean, we don't want to hard code how many arguments we need to pass to the method. In that case, the params keyword come into the picture. The params keyword allows us to pass flexible number of arguments. So let's see how it would be the signature of the method. It is going to return an integer. I'll name the method same again add numbers and instead of passing the integer parameters directly you use params keyword and then we are going to pass flexible number of integers so here we can declare that it will be integer array now this size of array we are not declaring here because um, we can pass only one integer, two integers, or any n number of integers. So here I can name them as a numbers. All right. So whatever numbers this method is going to pass, we are going to add it. So I'm using a for each loop. Now we know that this numbers is array of integers. So for every integer i, in this numbers we need to add the number so i create one integer i name it as a total initially it will be zero and then this total will be equal to total plus your current integer and after all the for each is completed we are going to return this total all right, now let's see how to use it. Suppose I have here integer sum is initially zero. Now I want to add only two numbers. So I make use of this method. And now here you can see it is taking params integer array. So suppose right now you want to add only two numbers. All right, and then let's print the sum on the screen sum is all right now let's compile this and run this okay now sum is five now i want to add four numbers then how can i do that i can use the same method and now i will pass four numbers as an argument and again we are going to print this sum if i run it again 
as you can see it is printing sum is 25 so now what you achieved by using params is you can use the same method and with number of arguments changing each time so this is the flexibility you get as a developer when you do not know how many parameters are going to be passed exactly then you can use params thank you